Hello, everyone. Welcome to What's Old Saturday. Welcome to What's Old Saturday on June 5th. So oh, yeah. I didn't know what day uh, it was today. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. It's June 5th. I never know what Does day it is. Does that mean something to you? No. But I'm at the point in my oh, summer yeah. where, like, the days don't really matter. Like, weekdays, numbers don't matter unless I have an appointment that day. It's great. It's Does so anything, good. you just, numbers don't matter, words don't matter, no, I days. Just do what I do what I please when I feel like it. Okay, so anyway. this, this week of What's Old Saturday is not brought to you by a bathroom. We're in the normal no. room, thank Good goodness. Debbie's spare bedroom. And we're covering the end of May, which honestly, my sales in May, for some reason, were... <laughs> mine were bad. End of May popped off. For me, May was not great, so I'm glad to, like, move on out. But the yeah. beginning of June has been fantastic. So that's June? pretty good. I, I, there's no rhyme for June. Like, May or March comes in like a lion or a lamb, June just shows up. There's no, I kept trying to think of uh, the words anyway. don't matter. Okay. <laughs> no, they don't. Well, we're covering the 29th through the 4th. Ryan has a few Instagram yes, sales that he would like to say thank you for first. Okay, so first up goes to Kristen. She got a really cute little, it said be nice on it, which I think is very fitting. It was super cute, little like Francesca's t shirt. Um, sold to her for $18. And then Alexis. Alexis like went all out. So I found a little Lulu Lemon. Uh, I think it's called the Festival Crossbody. You have that floral one. Oh, and okay. That little, like, Yeah, I like, use it as, like, bag. a chest bag. It's like a bin bag, we call yeah. it. Yeah, and I found one of Play-Dohs, and I didn't really feel like doing anything with that money, so I just bought the bag. And I posted it on my story, and I said, hey, I have this blue lemon bag. If anybody wants it, shit, like, I'll sell it to you on PayPal. And she was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, my friend has been looking for this bag for literally, like, eight months, a year, like, a long time. And then I just so happened to find it. So, um, Alexis, I hope you enjoy your, well, I hope your friend enjoys her new Lulu Lemon purse. Lulu Lemon. Please forgive my sunburn peeling on my nose. And then Lucy got a really cute Friends t-shirt. Because I love selling friend stuff to the Instagram people. Did I make any other sales this week? Oh, I did make a Mercari sale that I was very excited about. So I had a digital camera, an older digital camera that I didn't use. And I was like, oh, I'll sell it for, you know, 80, 100 bucks. So they sell for 100 and like 80. I listed mine for 200. And within 15 seconds, some lady was like, can I send you 150? Like, yeah. So that was the easiest $115 I've ever made. So let's jump into the Poshmark sales. So like I said, this covers the 29th to the 4th. Oh wait, actually. One more thing before we get into the Posh sales. Liar. Just so I keep wanting to address this in videos and I just keep forgetting. So we're going to finally do it. Yes, we did get new tattoos. Oh yeah. We have yeah. so many comments that are like, you guys got new tattoos and you're not saying anything. I got these little faces. I haven't named them yet. What should I name them? Tell me. And then I got my lampshade. It's old. Look at the color gradation. I love mm -hmm. that. It's from um, Swing Party, one of my favorite songs ever. Better yeah. placements. And I did get a Pokemon because I've been Pokemon obsessed my entire life. This is my favorite Pokemon. For those of you that like Pokemon, I don't you know which one this is. I don't. And then I got Courage the Cowardly Dog, which I am so freaking excited about. Look at how good he turned out. I know. It looks like I literally, like someone hit print on a printer and my arm just like went through the paper slot. Like it looks they look very so good. good. It was a very nice artist. I'm so excited. So yes, we did. We finally are addressing that. I've seen comments on like all of the last <laughs> videos. We were gonna say something, but we didn't want to show you guys while they were like healing. Cause they put them under this weird plastic like a burn for five days. Yeah, yeah, like a dermal. Yes. Anyway, anyway, so that's not why we're here. We're here for sales. So let's start with the 29th. And on the 29th, I did only have one because it was still May. I had five. My one sale was actually pretty good though. It was this Farm Rio Palm and Toucan print jumpsuit. I got this arbitrage and it sold for $120 and I got $96 and it actually was new with tag. Super cute and happy to see I that. I found more Farm And Rio. she said it looks amazing on her. Oh good. So I'm happy to hear that. Okay, my first on the 29th was this new with tag Chaser Motley Crew distressed graphic band tee. It sold for $15. I made it $12. If I'm holding my phone like this, it's because I can't read anything, sorry. And then I had to part with this, and I do kind of miss her, but I'm glad she went to a good home. It was this Moschino black quilted mini convertible backpack. I bought it on Macari, like, a while ago, and it was so cute, but it's just so tiny. Yeah. Like, it was literally, like, a little micro backpack. So I moved her along, I sold it to a lady for $233, and I made $186. It could basically only hold a wallet. It because could hardly hold my we wallet. Found my a, wallet's tiny. We found a Macari seller who was selling two Moschino backpacks, and I... I really wanted one and Ryan really wanted one. Dirt cheap. Really Dirt good deal. Cheap. Authentic. I was gonna I, say, we've had they them. They were real. Um, and so we both bought them and they both were like 
this big. They were like American Girl. So I sold mine after like a week, and Ryan finally sold his because he put I, up with it. I loved it. I did love it. Yeah. But it just got to the point where I was like, I can't put anything in this. Yeah. Anyway, and <clears> then <throat> on the 29th, I sold this new without tag soft surroundings navy crinkle gauze top, sold for 27. I made 21.60. Then I sold this junk food Michael Jackson distressed band tank, sold for 20. I made 16. You're welcome. Thank you. I threw that to him at the bin. I love the junk food band tea stuff. Oh, they sell fast. Okay, so this is Bolo. Big Bolo. Didn't realize it, so I'm gonna put my foot in my mouth and say the lag and like people, though I may, it may not be my personal style, I like making the money off of it, I will say. <laughs> so this is Krista Larson, and I, full disclosure, don't know anything about lag and like brands. This could be like a no-brainer to the lag and like people, and it's like news to me. So please be, <laughs> be nice, have patience. Crystal Larson black hooded bowed sweatshirt sold for $140. I made $112. That's crazy. I list it retailed for $275. I listed it at $175. And within the half hour, she sent me $140. I was like, yes, I will take your $140. Thank you. Then on the 30th, it was probably my most amount of sales on any day in May. I had five sales. I had two. My first sale was this Anthropology Maeve Berry Print Ruffle Blouse. This was so cute. And kind of like everyone, I am like being a little bit more picky with anthro. There's a lot of it. So like, there is. it's starting Definitely, to flood yeah. a bit. So I'm pretty picky and this was really cute even though it was an older tag. So I still picked it up and it sold for 35 and I got 28, which is pretty good. It was cute. Then I sold these American Eagle curvy mom shorts and they sold for my asking price of 25 and I got 20. I only picked these up at the bins. And like I said, in like, I think the last what sold, I only like to sell like size six and up of American Eagle mm -hmm. jeans or shorts and the newer label. So I'm quite picky but sometimes they sell. Then I sold this vintage cat tapestry tote bag. This is quite a Ryan sale, I feel I love like. It. And this with that vest that you sold a while ago, yeah. I would have worn the, all it's of this sold. in my cat t-shirt. It sold for only 15, that was the offer I got, but I mean, I also only had it priced at like 20, because like, I don't know. It was just like a- It was a cute a, little- A fabric tote. Cute little bit. And so I get 12. Then I sold this Lululemon down puffer coat. Lululemon took a long time to sell. <laughs> I had this for quite a while. I mean, granted, it's not winter anywhere right it now. It do be July. But it still sold for 50. That was like half of my asking price, but that's fine. I like to get rid of things that have to be hung up on the wall. Yeah. And so I get 40. Then my last sale on the 30th, again, very off season, but I vibe with this person. This Dash skull shaped waffle maker. When I bought mine, I bought two of them and I ended up up deciding to sell one and it sold for 28 and I get 2240 super cool it's literally it's I, if so you guys cute. ever watched our second channel around Halloween we made like cookies with this thing with the waffle maker it's like a teeny little like it's, skull like, it's like a little single serve waffle maker they're so, so cute, cute. I know. It. Okay, so my first <clears throat> on the 30th was this Velez natural tan leather. How about, I just picked this up in the bins because it was nice and it was 100% leather, so like, why not? So for 25, I made 20. And then Nikki got a super cute bundle, got these Hanes Comfort Blend custom bleached joggers and this Misa Misha Los Angeles Domino Magenta mini dress sold for 50, I made 40. I'm you sorry if you can see my Apple Watch fan line. <laughs> it's awful. You priced Hanes at $40? I did. Yes, I did. I absolutely did. And you should too. Okay. Choices. That's a choice. <laughs> then on the 31st, I guess I was wrong about the 30th. The 31st was my most sales in a day for May. And I got six. I had two. So I guess we went out with a finale. Thank you, May. My first sale is kind of a bolo. I'm not 100% sure, but if you found a good price on this brand, I would say pick it up. That's why I picked it up. It's a brand called Intentionally Blank. And it literally oh. says intentionally, and then there's like an underline. This is the intentionally blank Willow hologram square toe sandals. They were so cute. These were at Last Chance Final Cut. What's it called? The North. The Final Cut. Yeah, Last Chance. Chance. I don't. We know. went to the Last Chance in Chicago. Yes, <laughs> and uh, they were like twelve bucks, and it was a brand I'd never heard of. And it's kind of like a bloggery brand. It's not like they're like high quality. These weren't even like leather, I don't think. But they're very trendy. Yeah. So I still bought them. They sold for 70 and I got 56. It's not that they got a ton of attention, but I mean, a $70 sale is really good. So kind of a bolo. Don't pay too much Then, no. Then American Eagle High Rise Festival Shorts. These for some reason had a lot of likes. The festival shorts do really good. People yeah. love those. And they, someone sent me 15. And I was like, oh, sure. It cost me mm, but a buck 52 dollars. Yeah. 
So I get 12. Then to Danielle. Hello, Danielle. She purchased this Kate Spade large patent polka dot tote for $32. Love and I get $25.60. And she said that the bag is awesome and she's excited to use it. So I'm happy Aww. you like it, Danielle. That makes me you. happy. Then on the 31st, I also sold this Anthropology Maggie Stephenson Sisterhood plate. Sure. And I do have one more of these if anyone's interested. They're so cute. Sold for $25. Five and I get 20 and I sold this cup sheet floral print high-rise bikini bottom for 18 and I get 1440 we both only pick up cup sheet when it's like really cheap or in the bins or something I've paid up for cute. it once and it was when I found the matching set and it was a really cute little the gingham I found a gingham scent and I loved it and it sold very fast but. and my last sale in the month of May was this Dooney and Burke pebble leather dome satchel Ryan's grandmother has the exact same one and the exact same color. Woo! Mar fact. Marilyn doesn't watch these videos. <laughs> and she, she uses it all the it. time, so. And it sold for 115 and I get 92 They're really nice bags. I she probably say. paid retail and I paid a dollar. Oh, she walked into, <laughs> so in Des Moines we have Von Mar. She walked into Von Mar and just bought it. And she- Probably like two fifty. She first on the 31st, speaking of luxury items, Acquisitions. It's great because I have a tooth hole. Manolo Blahnik back black patent. That tooth hole do come in handy sometimes. <laughs> you can put straws, you can get food in there. I should just come like with a thing of wheat sticking out of my mouth and just like. We'll be like, <laughs> who's the Iowan here? Let's go. With like a really nasty straw hat on, like spit in a spittoon. You hear that like ding between each sale. <laughs> Yeah. Manolo Vonic <laughs> Black Patent Leather Pumps sold for $250. I made $192.55 after the shipping. And then I sold this pair of Vintage Havana Golden Goose Dupes Star White Sneakers. Sold Did you for... put that in the title? No, I didn't. Oh, I was but like, But that's risky. why if everybody's ever... I get questions about these a lot. of like, why do people like these? They look like Golden Goose sneakers because they got the big star on them and they're busted in white. We also get the question a lot. So like when you have a sandal or item or shoe, whatever, that is like... Like a dupe of something yeah. like how do you like go about listing that so I put in the description not the title. No don't put in the title Posh will veto that in two seconds. Yeah. You can seconds. I think you can even get in trouble for it being in the description but that's a safer thing to do if you are gonna put it in and usually I just say like inspired by the like Chanel Z1 sneaker the, or whatever, whatever the it original is. shoe is. I always say like not whatever the original brand is made to look like but it's whatever the I would just say do not is. put it in the title no definitely don't do that no I, these were vintage Havana star white sneakers and don't use a word like knockoff or like like clone or no or don't say one to one no either that will get you vetoed avoid things. avoid the like shysty like just be scammery honest. yeah 100 <laughs> just say like they're made to look like this shoe yeah but they're actually this brand even dupe might not be good to say no dupe has gotten me nicked a couple of times yeah i will say well these sold for 35 dollars and i made 28 then on the first i had five sales i had five as well and bolo alert but all of you should know that now if this isn't in your journal your little bolo journal you must not be listening put it in your <laughs> notebook vanessa and, but i don't know who vanessa is i'm sorry someone watching Named Vanessa is like, <laughs> oh like, my gosh. <laughs> and she like so writes violent. this down. Why, so, why are they so mad at me? Anthropology <laughs> Sorry, Delphi Vanessa. Collective, which was just in our Tuesday video of summer bolos. And like we said, Anthro does sometimes sell it, but not always. But it's good either way. Ruffle, tiered, pleated. They love their pleats. Yes, they do. Dress. And this they did do. only sell for 75 And I probably would have wanted more, but I've had it for like a little bit and just wanted to make a sale. So I get 60 And yeah, so Delphi is a it total bolo. Hello. Then Asia Dancer. Miss Kristen. Kristen hopped. Actually, she didn't come into my closet. She messaged me on Instagram she about, the about those American Eagle 90s boyfriend overalls. And I listed them especially for her. And she sent me an offer that we agreed on. And so I sold them for 35 and I get 25 54 So thank you, Kristen. I hope you love them, girly. I bet she's in the premiere chat right now. So hello. Hey, Kristen. sis. <laughs> love her. Then I sold these Doc Martens Leighton Laced Boots. Light and laced boots. Light and laced boots. For 60 and I get 48. I love a good pair of And then I sold, this is like the one J. Crew piece that is like bread and butter. For some reason, these things sell very well and for decent money. J. Crew sweater blazer button jackets. I've had it in Sweater like, blazer button jackets. I've had it in pink. I've had it in maroon. I think in black. Now I sold it in tan. And it sold for 40, which is what I had it listed at. And I get 32. And they get likes. I don't know. I don't I know think, what's up with those I don't know. Things. People like them. Then, this is my second best sale of the week. This Veronica Beard Linen The Jacket. 
Linen Fuchsia. <laughs> wow, that was a really bad title. It was called like the Veronica Beard, the Jacket Linen or something. It had a weird name, so blame Miss Veronica. And Veronica Beards, what are you doing? Ma blame Miss Veronica number one and Veronica number two. Miss Veronica and Mrs. Beard. If you didn't know, the the women behind Veronica Beard are two women, both named Veronica Beard. One of them was Veronica and married the brother, and then one was just Veronica Beard. So, so they're both two Veronica, Veronica Beard. Beard. It's amazing. Which I is love it. Sold for two hundred and ten, and I get one hundred and sixty eight. And this was honestly one of my like more boring Veronica Beard blazers, so I'm very excited to get that same. I love Veronica Beard. And that's it oh. for the first. Okay, my first and the first went to Megan. So Megan, I hope you enjoy them. Lululemon gray drawstring varsity shorts. These were on the floor of the bins, and now they are in Megan's <laughs> but position. They've been washed, so it's yes, okay. they have been freshly <laughs> laundered. They don't have bin floor on. No, them it's okay. We cleaned them. So Megan, I hope you enjoy them. She got them for thirty bucks. Then I sold. Here's another one: boutique multicolored studded slide sandals. Those ones that looked like the Fendi sandals. I definitely didn't say like looks like Fendi sandals. And Ruth got these, and Ruth. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> these are the ones from that thrift with us where I was like, some sad sack is going to pick these up and think they're Fendi and buy them. And then Ryan goes, I love these. I love these. Like, Fendi. <laughs> I was like, I love these. So Ruth got them. I sold them to her for 25 bucks. I made 20. They were cute. They were very, very, very cute. cute. Very, very cute. And then my next on the first was this For Love and Lemons V-neck short romper. It sold for $50. I made 40. Most of the For Love and Lemons I find is lace. So I was kind of honestly shocked this wasn't, but that's okay. And then I sold this Torrid, a black floral baby doll tank, sold full price for $30, I made 24. And then Teresa got a super cute new pair of jeans, new tag Carmar denim LF reflective high rise jeans. If you don't know, LF is a really expensive California like hippie dippy boutique and they don't have any online. You can only buy it in store. And their main denim brand is called Carmar denim. It's really expensive retail. So if you find it a good one, you're welcome. Sold for $30, I made 24. And that was it on the first. So then on the second, I had four sales. I had five again. My first sale is this Rails Tropic Metallic Thea striped crop top. It sold for 40 and I got 32. Great amount for Rails. And I actually paid up a little bit as in like, I think I paid like 12. I just really liked this top. And the model picture was absolutely, it was like featured in like Vogue. So it was just really cute. <laughs> the Vogue Rails. Ryan and I were talking about this and I have a theory that Rails is a lot like Fry where it gets no light. Nobody pays it into No attention, and then it just sells People for a good it. price. That's that's what happens with my fry boots. That's what happens happens with my rails. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're not doing good. And then they sell. And then plus rest. Then I sold my first time ever finding and first time ever selling Figs Technical Collection Livingston Scrub Pants. Figs even have a style number, I don't which know is fantastic. About figs. I think they're scrubs. Yes. I think they're doc. I think they're like comfortable, like, like more athletic y kind of scrubs. Okay. These sold that. for my asking price of forty. I think that you can mark them higher, but mine had like a really light, like red spot on them. And so I marked them at forty and I get thirty two. So it was it's not no. I was like, no, 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 no. It's the <laughs> red spot is You could tell it was like ink. Like oh, it wasn't it wasn't her, her yeah, no. I as soon as I listed that I thought the same thing. I was like no. It's just like mm -hmm. ink or like something. Then I saw these Levi's rib cage boot cut flare jeans. Ryan and I came into a fun little arbitrage situation and we both picked up a couple pair of these and you'll see a few of them on this week's sale. Next week you'll see two. These me. sold for eighty which is what I listed them at, and I get 64, so that's exciting. We have them in a plethora of sizes, yes. if you would like a pair for yourself. And my last on the second was this pair of J. Crew high waist cut off boy shorts. This is, I don't know the last time I sold two J. Crews in a week. That, it's been a that's minute. That's a rare it's occurrence. It's been a hot minute. These sold for 25 and I get 17.54. They were a great size. They were size 33, so that's mm -hmm. definitely why I tried to sell them myself, or else I probably would have just consigned them. I was going to say, I like some plus size J. Crew. Mm -hmm. It's cute. So my first and the second was this Zara <clears throat> Black Sheer Ruffle Sleeve Floral Top. I don't pay up for Zara anymore unless I can 100% confirm that it's one of those blogger pieces that I can sell for $100. Yeah. That's the only exception. But other than that, I get it in the bins, or I get it at Goodwill if it's $4. So this one sold for 18 and I made fourteen forty, and that was a bins find, but it literally was just mesh. Like, it weighed nothing, so I wasn't mad. It was like an actual buffalo nickel. Yes, it was. And then, oh, one of my favorite Ugh. dress brands to sell. New Tag Gal Meets Glam, the Marion Purple Twist Dress, sold for $110, and I made 88 
this sold very quickly and it still gets likes. So I apologize if they got me to glam women, they missed out on this lovely opportunity. Then I sold to Brianna, she got this All Saints Like and Look Tie Tan Smocked Top. Sold for $40, I made 32, Brianna, I hope you love it. This was in with the Magnolia Pearls. This was mm. right under them, so. Oh, that one. Mm-hmm. Then I sold these Zara Men's Distressed Bleached Straight Jeans. Sold for 30, minus a shipping discount, I made it 21.54. Then I sold this Gilly Green Camo Leather, oh. Instead of top zip, I put two zip. <laughs> top zip wallet clutch sold for $22. I made $17.60. And that is it for my second. Then on the third, I had four sales. I had six. My first sale was this Carvin embellished print tank top. If you don't know Carvin, it is Very a bolo. Expensive. It is like a luxury runway, super, super expensive. It doesn't keep its value like crazy, crazy good. But obviously if you see it, it's still like a luxury designer. Pick her up. This sold for 65, it had some flaws, and I get 49.54. Then, welcome back, I sold the Levi's Ribcage Bootcut Flare Jeans, and these ones sold for 70, and I get 54.50. Then I sold this Ronnie Kobo Puff Sleeve Ruched Mini Dress. It sold for 75, and I get 60. That was actually half of what I had it listed for, but it had some makeup spots, so I was like, sure. They were cute though. And last, what do you know? I sold these Levi's Ribcage Bootcut Flare Jeans and they sold for 65 and I get 52. So I love that's Levi's. Fantastic. Oh, they're amazing. Love okay. Me some Levi's. My first and the third, Free People Red Puff Sleeve of the Neck Midi Dress sold for 40, <laughs> I made 32. Then I sold this new tag, Free People Gray Waffle Sleeve Bodysuit sold for 16, I made 12.80. And then Annie got a super cute little bundle. She got this really cute H&M Natalie Lette, a pink sequin animal t-shirt that I got in the bins, which was so cute. It was one side was a cat and one side was a bunny. It was so cute. And then she got this vintage blush pink wool beret and these Batiste textile fabric mules. And the bundle sold for 50, I made 40. And then Melissa popped on and said, I need these vintage Harley Davidson shorts and I need that other rail star print t-shirt. So she got a vintage pair of Harley Davidson shorts and a rail star print t-shirt. Sold for $50 and I made 40. And then I sold this Urban Outfitters 80s orange design t-shirt. This is just one of my old Urban Outfitters Vince Fines t-shirts. Sold for $10, I made 705. And then Deb got a super cute bundle of this Chaser So Tired White Burnout t-shirt and a Lululemon black vintage thumb hole sweater. Sold for 57, I made 45, 60, and that is it for my third. Then the last day of what sold Saturday. Oh Lord, popped here we go. Off. The fourth popped off. I had eight sales and I, oh my gosh, the fourth, you'll see. You'll see. It was a very good sales week. My highest sale and my most sales. I had two on the fourth. <laughs> so, That's okay. Not mad. So my first one, we started off great. I sold this Kate Spade Gingham. Oh my god, you already sold plaid that. Plaid Frog Safiano Wallet. So we were selling at Plato's Closet. When I got the Lululemon purse is when he got that wallet. Yeah, this Pretty is the same one that. where Ryan got that Coach bubblegum. Yeah. Oh, the tabby. Oh, yes. Oh so I was getting my payout, whatever, and then I was like, oh my gosh, look at that cute like frog Kate Spade wallet up on the wall. And so I saw it and it was $30, but it was new tag and I looked it up and actually it's still on the website for $210. So I totally bought it and it already sold for $125 and I get a hundred. Then I sold a bundle to Teresa. So hello, Teresa. She purchased these adorable Anthropology Saludos Winking Espadrilles. Oh, so cute. Along with those. this Urban Outfitters, I feel like Ryan, Eyelet Lace Ruffle Dress. This dress was actually so, so cute. So I, I was more outfitters. than happy to sell it myself. <laughs> and it sold that bundle for 70 and I get 53.54. Then I sold this Pink Victoria's Secret Scallop Tie-Dye Bikini Bottom. Sold for 18 and I get 14.40. Love me a good bikini bottom. Then to Lauren. I honestly think Lauren watches us, but she might just be someone that likes to shop for me. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> if, if you're she here, is watching, if not, hello, Lauren. Hi, everybody. Last week or two weeks ago, Lauren bought those Celine sandals. Ooh. And now Lauren came back and bought this pair of Paige Sarah High Waist Graphic <gasps> Straight Jeans. I bought these with the frog wallet, actually. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. These I did pay up for because, oh my gosh, look at them. So cute. They're, They're so, so cute. cute. There's like a Ferris wheel on them. There's a cactus. They're There's like a motel sign. They're freaking adorable. Lauren, if you're watching, wear those with those Celine shoes. She's going to. We, I adorable. was talking with her okay, about good. that. I was like, the black graphics with the like black specks on the cheetah print, like, oh, so Such cute. a look. Oh. So she bought it for nine, this pair of jeans for 90, and I get 69.54, and then, what is that? What is that up there? Is that, <laughs> is that a light? 
<laughs> it is. It's a light raining down from above. <laughs> Look at who decided to return. And with a bang. So, kick in the angels from above music. <laughs> I sold this Agua by Agua Bendita. Oh, Pomelo floral linen dress. This sold in three hours for $575. And I get $460. Yes, I was lucky enough to find another online arbitrage experience opportunity, opportunity <laughs> and I experience. snatched it. <laughs> Obviously, I paid up quite a bit, but oh my gosh. I was so floored to be able to sell another Agua Bendita. Still my favorite brand, mm -hmm. like ever, that I can't wear. Moschino is still my favorite brand. But Agua Bendita is the most beautiful brand ever. If you ever find it, ever, do not be afraid to pay up. I mean, like, you can look it up and just make sure it's, like, rare. Mm -hmm. But if it has, I'll even put the label here. If it has this Agua Bendita label in it, with the butterfly... You're good. You got a lot of money. So sought after, so beautiful, so high quality. They're all like linen and cotton and whatever. Best brand ever. Changed my mind. You can't change my mind, so I don't even no, try. No, they're so beautiful. So yeah, five seventy-five, and I got four hundred sixty dollars. And two people were offering at the same time. You had a little bit more going on. One would not budge from five twenty-five, and one would not budge from five seventy-five. And yes, I did list it at eight hundred dollars because comps are about eight hundred. But like three hours for five hundred and seventy-five dollars. That's crazy. Sure. Anyways, <laughs> next <laughs> we're totally not. other end of the spectrum. Free People Floral Print Boho Top. Still cute. Sold for $25. I get $17.54. Then I sold this Jules. This is my last sale of the week. Jules Myla Dog Print Midi Dress. So cute. It did have pugs on it. I and love that. It sold Aww. for $28 and I get $22.40. Okay, my first on the 27th. <clears throat> 27th. Wow. The fourth is not near as exciting. Nasty Gown. New, not new tag. Gold Satin Elastic Midi Skirt. Sold for $27. I made twenty one sixty. That's okay. <laughs> and then bundle for Secret. Secret got a, a very cute bundle of an H and M girls floral dress, an anthropology postmark dress that Jack found that was so cute. And then a little um like cut in half ASOS t shirt. There was like one half was one t shirt, one half was another t shirt. That sold for sixty dollars and we Oh made oh my gosh, yes. Secret. <sighs> she has the patience. I mean so does Kristen. Kristen H oh Dancer also does. Both of them understand that we are like busy and we're not slow good at checking people. the phone yes. all the time. Sometimes Sorry. Time gets the best of sorry, us, sorry, sorry, and we sorry. get really busy, and it takes us a little bit to get things listed. So they have the patience of <laughs> an angel, a yes, patience of the Agua Bendita. Thank you so both. thank you both Lovely so much women. for your patience and understanding, and we really appreciate your business. My gross for this week, finally my sales have returned, and they're finally back up, and I hope June, I hope this is a sign that June I think it's gonna be is finally back up. I think it's the moment. 2,374 was my gross. My gross was $1,530. Yes. Which even if I hadn't sold the Agua Bendita, I still would have had a really good week. That's so a that's crazy, fantastic. That's a crazy good week. My new for the week was $1,877.95. Mine was $1,214.08. And that's all. That's all she wrote for this week. we have you week. guys today. We need to go get coffee. I Even know. though I feel like I'm already jittery just thinking about my Agua Bendita. <laughs> that I haven't shipped out yet. I'm nervous about I don't my want to let her go. Yeah, skirt. I'm not at all. It'll be fine. But we need to go get coffee. We told ourselves we'd be good and we'd film this as soon as we woke up without even going to get coffee. I comb my hair. I put a shirt on. <laughs> Didn't put any more stuff on, clearly. And then started filming. And then yes. filmed, yeah. Let us know how you guys' week was. What was your highest dollar sale for the week? What platform was it on? I don't think I had any other platform sales. Ryan, like you said, he had some Mercari. I'm in a camera sale on Mercari. Yeah. I feel like so. a regular person selling something of mine on the internet. Yeah. A weird. normal person. Weird. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. And like we said on Thursday, tomorrow, Sunday, we're going to be filming a day in the life. We're yes. going to the bins and we're going we're gonna to ship, ship. And you're going to watch me get coffee. We're going to go to eat. the storage unit. It's going to be great. Lots and lots of stuff planned for tomorrow. And in that video, we're filming a haul from the bins trip that's in that video. And you'll see that haul on Thursday. Very meta. So you're getting a day in the life on Tuesday and a haul on Thursday. Fingers crossed, everyone cross, comment a little finger crossed emoji. Let's hope that we do good at the bins. I hope so. I, I want more so Magnolia too. Pearl. Sometimes Sundays can either be like dead 
nobody there or like so busy. It's crazy busy. And I'm really hoping that no one's there. I know too. Yeah. We will see you guys. Um, Twisty. Bye. Goodbye.